The beautiful game has returned to the Dragon's Lair. Howard Community College battling Ocean County College. The Dragons are led by Stefan Dragunov, former professional soccer player and pro-level coach in Bulgaria. His Dragons enter the match with an 0-2 record. Ocean enters with a 1-0 record out of Toms River, New Jersey. This is the final game in the Vikings' two-day Maryland road trip. Ocean defeated Cecil College 9-0 yesterday. First half free kick for Howard CC. Francisco Fuentes serves it into the box. Keeper gets there but fails to punch it out of harm's way. Daniel Fuentes. Jared Simowitz with the rebound attempt. Dragons put the pressure on but come up empty. Ten in black, Christian Alfaro. See Steve Amonqua. Hits him in stride, waltzing into the box, but Amonqua's touch is too strong. Vikings possession, final third. Doug Jensen goes down just outside of the penalty area, setting up a chance for Ocean County. Ensuing set piece, Matt Singh, over the wall. Simon Bradford with the save. Here's the corner, Singh. Jensen. Francis Amonqua with the clear. Second half now, Steve Amonqua dispossesses John Ortiz. Alfaro ahead to Simowitz. Dribbling and he's fouled. Ensuing free kick, Daniel Fuentes puts a strike on target. Robert Andrade can't make the clean catch. Dragons possessing the ball, dictating the action, and testing the keeper. Howard possession, Gabriel Rojas. Adam Russo. Here come the Dragons. Alfaro dribbling through Ocean's defense. Still Alfaro. Wins a corner for HCC. Here it comes. Falls to Rojas. Vikings survive. Ensuing throw in. Simowitz controlling the ball. Able to break free from Nick Hun. Alfaro scores. Howard breaks through in the 70th minute. Jensen launches the free kick deep. Bradford vacates the goal and puts an end to the chance. Jensen delivers a beauty into the box. Just not enough quality in the final third for Ocean. Howard holds on for its first win of the season. Let's send it down for some post-game reactions. It was obviously a good feeling, you know, my first goal of the season. Um, I hope there's a lot more to come, but that first goal, you know, it's always good to have it first in, get it out the way. Um, he's a good cross from Jarrett. Got to give it up to him. It was a good cross, and all I had to do was really move my head. What did Coach Dragunov say to you and the team, and your teammates at halftime today? Uh, you know, coming from the last two games, we played a little. Uh, with, I don't know the word is. You know, we didn't play compact. Uh, this game, co uh, Coach really emphasized about being compact, pushing from the back, uh, pressing the team high up, and I think we did that, especially in the second half. We controlled the ball a lot. I think that's why we were able to get the balls on the sides, and then Jair's cross again. You know, that's probably the reasons why we got that ball in and that goal. What does this win do for your whole team's confidence just getting a win here? Uh, you know, it's a team, it's a win. Uh, morale is probably going up. Uh, coming from this weekend in New York, uh, we were pretty down. Uh, this is just going to help us in for next week. Nova's going to be really tough and we know that. So this win, you know, boosts our morale a lot. So what made you want to come to Columbia, Maryland, play soccer here for Coach Dragunov? Uh, coach actually recruited me like last year. I said no, I went somewhere else. Um, but you know, the facilities here are great. It's unbelievable, you know. It's probably the best in the county, the turf field. Um, you got the big field there, you got this beautiful Bermuda, so just the facilities are amazing here. So what are you and your teammates looking to accomplish this season? You know, we're taking it step by step. Uh, we definitely think we got a good team. Technically wise, Coach has said it, we have a really good team. So hopefully, you know, go step by step, see how far we get, you know, want to get into playoffs, see how far we get in there, you know. Drew, take me inside the, the com camaraderie of this team. I mean, we're all one big group together. 
after this uh, past weekend in New York and New Jersey, we were all really low because of the two losses. But I think we all got together in the locker room before this game and really just said, let's go out there and get a win, make Coach happy. Tell me a little bit about the bus ride after the two losses coming back down south. What was being discussed amongst you and your teammates? Not much. Not much was said on that bus ride because it was about five hours for us and no one really wanted to talk after those two losses. We were all really down on ourselves. But once we got off and we got our day off, the next day at practice, we, were, we went right to it before the game today and we went out here and got our win. Talk about just the, the shifts in this game and how your team was able to just build confidence and then finally score the goal you were looking for. Well, in the first half, we really dominated them on possession-wise. I think we just had to adjust their aggressiveness and their size. And then the second half, we started really slow. But eventually, we picked it up, and we just we got our goal eventually. We knew it was coming. It was just a matter uh, of time. So when Coach Dragunov was addressing the team at halftime, what was going Did that change the team's momentum or their mindset at all, do you think? I definitely think it did because he uh, boosted our morale up by saying how well we were playing. We just needed to get the goal and pack it in and stay more compact as a team. And he gave us a lot of confidence going out in the second half.